Hi, this is Liz Bosey with Telvent demonstrating the docking interface in the 10.0 release. We have the map open with a table of contents, and on the upper right hand corner there's a push pin for auto hide. When you press the auto hide button, the table of contents shrinks down on the taskbar over on the left hand side. When you scroll over with the mouse, it will pop up the window with the table of contents, and if you remove the mouse again, it will uh, release it back into the taskbar. You can bring it back up again and click on the push pin so that it stays open whenever the mouse leaves that area as well. You can also click on the title area and drag the window around and you'll see these blue arrows up left, bottom, and right on the screen which tells you where you can also dock this window. If I go over on the right hand side and release the mouse button, the table of contents is now on the right hand side and again I can use the push pin to create the taskbar over on the right hand side and then bring it back up and use the push pin to create the docked window. I can drag this around into the middle area. This is just a more convenient way to get to the different locations on the screen and let go of the mouse and it will then dock on the left hand side. We can also use this with the ArcFM products. So if we bring up, open the ArcFM locator window, we can drag this window around too and still use the blue arrows for where it goes and dock it right next to the table of contents. You can use the push pin as well, works the same, and release it. And the ArcFM Identify tool, we'll bring that one up as well. We can also dock this one inside another window. So inside our ArcFM locator, we can also have the blue arrows to either dock it above or below the ArcFM locator screen area. So that is the new features in the 10.0 release for docking interface. That's Liz with Telvin.